<laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> That's right. I'm laughing, man, because y'all listen to all these stupid YouTubers convincing y'all that there was going to be a sequel. Look, man, let me tell you something. If you are living under a rock, you know if a movie underperforms and it costs companies a lot of money and lost revenue and time, why in the hell would they make a sequel? It would have been stupid to make a sequel. And every YouTuber that thought that Hasbro should make a sequel to Transformers 1, well, you're just as bad giving up the worst news because you didn't do your research. I told y'all weeks ago, and I'll refer to the video from the entertainment. Well, he could have just been staying. No, they ain't going no more movies. If they were going to do a sequel to Transformers 1, they would have been talking about it. I told y'all this time and time again, these YouTubers out here do not do journalists. They don't have journalistic integrity whatsoever. And they don't know how to foresight because they're not real collectors. They're just trash YouTubers spreading around ilk. I told y'all, I told y'all two weeks ago, it's not going to be a sequel, man. Get over it. Yeah, it ain't going to be a sequel because just Ben Cooley and Benefiter, they said, they said they're not the fucking company. They're not the fucking company. This is Chris Cox. And I'm going to read to you <laughs> what he said and what I, <laughs> I'm loving this because I told y'all that movie was, it wasn't a good movie. I don't care how much you tell me it's good. No one wanted to see it. And their own words from Hasbro. We're going to read from Hasbro, not wick whack YouTubers. Not trying to drum up nonsense and just spamming seven, eight minutes of video to get ad revenue and probably using Fiverr. Today, we're going to do some realistic journalist journalism today. And actually, we got to thank TFW 2005 for that. But I did that for you two weeks ago, and I'll link back to my video. But let's talk. Hasbro stops financing movie projects. <laughs> so, but wait, could somebody else do it? Probably not. Speaking to Bloomberg, Hasbro CEO Chris Cox states that the toy giant will stop co-financing movie projects. Mr. Cox is the leading company through is leading the company through a challenging transition, focusing on video games and digital entertainment. And y'all still crying over Reactive? We ain't seen that game. How long that game been showing? They got toys, but still no damn game. You trust them to make a video game? But anyway, let's continue to offset declining toy sales and underperforming movie ventures. A gamer at heart, Chris Cox joined Hasbro in 2016, overseeing the rapid growth of the Wizards of the Coast division, which produces Magic, The Gathering, and Dungeons and Dragons. The company highlights that Transformers 1 underperformed financially. Let's repeat that again. The company highlights that Transformers 1 underperformed financially. Under his leadership, Hasbro is investing heavily in gaming, including licensing hits like Monopoly Go and Baldur's Gate 3, as well as developing new projects like a G.I. Joe action adventure game and a digital Magic the Gathering Commander format. Despite the competitive video game market and recent project cancellations, Hasbro aims to release one to two new video games annually by 2016. Mr. Cox is also expanding Magic the Gathering with crossover sets featuring Lord of the Wings and Marvel characters drawing new players drawing new players while sparking fan debate. Hasbro focused on digital collectability and broader gameplay reflects its effort to adapt to the shifting consumer preferences. As the new CEO puts it, Hasbro's future lies in levering its iconic brands to innovative play. I told you they just want to be an IP rights holder while listening to stupid YouTubers tell you dumb stuff. I told you this two weeks ago. This is business, not what the hell you want. Stop acting like children and understand how business works. There was no way they were going to make a sequel to this movie. That would be stupid and detrimental if no one really went to see the first one. I don't care how good the movie is. It doesn't matter how good the movie is. The movie failed. It looked like a cookie cutter shit you could see on Netflix. Why would I spend $20 to go see some shit that I've already seen a hundred times over just using Transformers lore? 
It's not even the original lore. It's garbage. It was garbage and I knew it and I'm glad it happened to wake everyone up to realize Hasbro is failing and they don't want to make toys anymore. Do you understand this is business? This is how corporations work. Get out of the child and these people living in their basements. You, whatever you want to say it, I knew it. I called it and I ain't got to say no more. I'm glad it happened to wake everyone up to realize that this company has been shitting on us consumers for years with this guy at the helm. And all they want to do is just produce cookie cutter phone video games and sell the rights to other people to make their toys. Now you can get mad and try to come up with other shit. But the bottom line is the bottom line. The bottom line ain't making no more movies because they can't. Okay. The money ain't there. Super Robot here bringing more news reviews today. We'll see you soon. And fuck Transformers 1 and I'm glad it's over. Bye bye.